Mario Lopez, you guys. Mario F Lopez. Who won't they go after? Who's next? Is it? He's like the nicest guy in the world. You want Ryan Seacrest next? <laughs> Are we going after Urkel now? Go after all the 90 stars. Maybe Jonathan Taylor Thomas isn't doing much. So we can thank Yahoo for pretending this was an issue because it actually happened a month ago. Mario Lopez is trending on Twitter on the 31st. This article was posted on the 30th, the night before. So from what I can see is they're the ones who started it. So basically they write an article about something from a month ago when Mario Lopez is on Candace Owens, your girl Candace Owens' show. And then of course other people, other places copy the story because they're trash. <laughs> you know your article is trash when you use tweets from random people, non-notable people as evidence. Oh, when they say there's outrage or sparks backlash, that's people they found that tweeted about it that they agree with. So. Here's the quote from this amazing journalism from Yahoo. During the 40-minute interview, Owens brought up the, quote, weird trend in Hollywood that have celebrities like Charlize Theron taking cues from their children as to how they identify. Yeah, that's weird. Sorry to tell you. In April, the long-shot actress revealed that her 7-year-old child Jackson did not identify as a boy. Yes, I thought she was a boy too, Theron told the Daily Mail, until she looked up at me when she was 3 years old and said, I'm not a boy. Is that after she said ice cream or peanut butter or daddy or mommy? Just, you know, did they come up with some sort of Magna Carta afterwards is what I, what I'm saying is, <laughs> is your child at three is not intelligent. Sorry to tell you that your child does not know what it is at three years old. Are they an astronaut? Are they the cookie monster? So let me show you the part of the video that they're taking ex excerpts from, and you can decide if this is controversial or not. I'm, I'm kind of blown away too. And um, look, I'm never one to tell anyone how to parent their kids, obviously. And I think if you come from Maybe a place, you should though, because you yeah. seem to be doing something <laughs> right. Well, thanks. You know, and I always say, if you come from a place of love, you, you know, you you really can't go wrong. But at the same time, my God, if you're three years old and you're saying you're feeling a certain way or you're, you're, you think you're a boy or a girl, whatever the case may be, I, 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 I just think it's dangerous as a parent to make that determination then, okay, well then you're going to be a boy or a girl, whatever the case may be. And it's, it's sort of alarming and my gosh, I just think about the repercussions later on. Right. So after seeing that, you go back to the article and you see that the first line is Mario Lopez claims that parents who allow their children to live according to their self-identified genders are setting a dangerous example. Now, the fact that people think that children have self-identified genders, as if it matters what a kid says that they are. Bro, <laughs> I mean, I guess technically, if they say that, it's self-identified gender. Well, why is this? What do kids know? Nothing. And then I'm on the article, and this video starts playing accidentally while I'm reading it, and it's so ridiculous. Look at this. <laughs> So I debated with a girl recently about this. Her argument was basically women have been second class citizens for all of mankind. And the reason that women don't go into the same jobs as men uh, is because they've been second class citizens for all of mankind. I mentioned, you know, the fact that there are queens, <laughs> female pharaohs, Cleopatras, such, such and such, queen of England, queen of France, doesn't matter, doesn't matter to her. Uh, I mentioned how Sweden, Attempts to be super egalitarian, making everything gender equal. Big beast with Sweden these days with me, you guys, as, you, as you've seen. And it's only pushed them further apart. There's fewer men in nursing. There's less women in construction. And th this was unacceptable to her. It says She said it, wasn't, it hasn't been long enough to find out if this stuff actually works. And even if it is working, then... It still doesn't make any sense because people have grown up in a society where they have this societal bias that tells them they need to go into certain places. Why do you need men and women to do the same jobs? Why does it bother you that there's no women dying on oil rigs? That's what I don't understand. 
But dudes mopping the floor with chicks and track and field and weightlifting, wrestling, that's all fine. But we need women, we need more women dying through, that's going to be a bad sound bite. People want women to be more dangerous jobs. I don't understand it. So what I said to her is I said, you keep going down this road and no one's going to marry you. <laughs> that's my new thing. If a girl tries something like that, and I'm not a misogynist by any means. I think both uh, both sides of the extremes are stupid. Like, other side of feminism might be the the mig cows. How you say it? Men going their own way. Oh, it's so lame. It's so lame. When this is what happens when men can't get can't get women. They go to extreme perversions and extreme belief systems, like uh, I don't know, anime porn. Stuff like that. But if a girl's going to start doing this word vomit thing of stuff that was made up four years ago and pretend it's not bullshit, no one's going to marry you, you know? I don't want to marry you. None of my friends I know would want to marry you. No man I met wants to be bullied into these belief systems. It's like, if you're a girl, just imagine some guy just starts going in on you on a date. You know, all women want are money. You can't trust them. They're all liars. They want to cheat on you no matter what. You're going to roll your li- you're going to roll your eyes and be like, "This guy is a clown." And that's how it is from from the other side. That's how I feel. Stores purposely put pink in certain aisles and blue in other aisles because they want to keep genders separate and thinking within their societal constraints. Yeah, I'm sure it has nothing to do with what sells. <laughs> Yo, know, screw profits. If these little boys buy anything that isn't blue, I don't know why he's a New Yorker. If these boys buy anything that isn't blue, fucking heads are going to roll. Pizza rolls on the ground. (laughs) I got a problem with that. So you have to be reasonable. This whole you're with us or you got to die thing has to end. If anybody's going to make any progress, jumping down somebody's throat for such simple comments that that you've dug up because you don't like it, it's got to stop. It's got to go. So now I've had to come back because Mario Lopez has apologized. I was done the video and then I see this. This is it's so cringe, dude. It's so cringe. Here it is. The comments I made were ignorant and insensitive. And now I have a deeper understanding of how hurtful they were. I have always been and always will be an ardent supporter of the LGBTQ community. And I'm going to use this opportunity to better educate myself moving forward. I will be more informed and thoughtful. Good God, dude. Like, <laughs> I know you're trying to save your career, but where are the odds he's actually, in the span of one night, had so much information presented to him that he's completely changed his mind? Maybe 0.1? 0. 0.1? I don't know. This is just beyond cringe. It's so sad. This is what Twitter does to people. This is what the mob does to people. And when you have this type of control over Hollywood, you can do that. Twitter is now just a forum, I feel like, a 1998 HTML forum for a progressive mob that has moderators that want to ban you if you say anything bad about, I don't know, StarCraft? (laughs) What was big in 98? Command and Conquer? Things that would have had a forum. An MSN uh, 13-year-old dating chat where the FBI is watching for pedophiles? I don't know. This is just so sad. I'm really disappointed that he apologized for this. Um... Thanks for watching. I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once. Would I, Mario Lopez?